Are you a fine artist who's dreaming of making a living from your art? In this video, I'm going to break down the steps that I would take to build up my art business today if I had to start over from scratch. And if you want more real life strategies on how to create consistent income as a fine artist, then click the subscribe button right now. Then click the bell and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Okay, friends, my name is Jennifer Daly and I'm a fine artist who makes a really good living from my art. I'm also incredibly passionate about helping other artists to do the same and I've empowered dozens of artists and helped them get focused and find success with their business building efforts. So today I'm going to share with you the exact steps that I would take if I were starting my business over from scratch. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I think is the number one secret to my personal success. I'm super excited to share this info with you, so let's get started. Okay, step one, evaluate. You've got to evaluate your art, and before you commit to making consistent income from your art, you need to be sure that the art that you're making is strong and that you also love making it and that you love the finished result. I see a lot of artists rush into trying to sell their art when the quality is not very high yet. And that's not to say that you can't sell less than amazing art, but everything you do from showing to selling to talking about your art is going to be much, much easier if the art itself is really strong. Not only that, but when you get into marketing and selling your art, you're going to have less time in your studio to develop your work. So if you're not feeling that confident about your art yet, you need to take the time now to develop your practice. You know, just develop your technique, develop your voice until you fall in love, not only with the process of making your art, but with the final product and you just want to share it with the world. Once you can consistently produce work that you love, that's the time to think about selling it. So. Don't think that I'm telling you that your work must be amazing, like museum quality before you start to sell it. It doesn't need to be in the top 1% of all art being made in the world right now, but maybe top 30%. And believe me, there's a lot of art being made out there, so top 30% is just not that hard. Remember, you're gonna keep working your whole life to get your art better and better and better. So don't let the pursuit of perfection stop you from taking your first steps right now. But do make sure you are in love with your practice and in love with what you make before you decide to turn it from a hobby to a source of significant income. Okay, so step number one admittedly was more of a prerequisite. Um, make good work and then you're ready to move on to step number two. So the next thing that I would do is to start or refine your Instagram account. I know I can already hear you telling me that Instagram is a waste of time and that it's really hard to build a following there these days, and I get it. Yes, for most of us, Instagram is no longer a place where you can sell out a collection or build a giant following overnight. But guess what? Instagram is a great place to quickly and easily build a portfolio. Don't worry too much about building a following. Those are just vanity metrics. Use your account to practice taking great photos of your work and your process. Meet some other artists there, see what they're up to. I can't tell you how many connections I still make through Instagram, even though the amount of effort I actually put in there is evident in the size of my following. So put a little time into cleaning up your feed, make it look professional, um, decide how often you're going to post. I think one to two times a week is plenty and then move on to step number three. Okay, step three, go local. The next thing I would do is start exploring local opportunities to share my work. Um, shops, cafes, salons, pop-ups, art fairs, these are all really easy places to get your work in front of people. You will learn so much about what kinds of people actually buy your work uh, from these opportunities. And after enough of them, you're going to get a really good sense of who your ideal buyer is, where to find them, what they like, where they hang out, and how to get your art in front of more people like them. Okay, the next step is to go pro online. So while you're exploring all these local opportunities, 
Take the time to build a professional website, preferably one that you can make sales from. Um, you want to have a beautiful website that shows your work really well so that you can expand beyond your local market. And you always want to put your best foot forward when you find people online. You know, this is the first place they're going to see your work. So once you've got your website ready, you can start proactively reaching out to shops and to galleries, brands and influencers all online. They don't need to be in your local vicinity. Okay, we are halfway through the list. If you are liking these tips so far, please click the like button and we'll get back into it. So step five is to make a plan. Uh, by now, you should have a better idea of what you want to make, who your audience is, and how you want to spend your time. But you do have to have an income goal set for yourself. If you don't, how will you know what success looks like? How will you know how many paintings you need to make and how many you need to sell? How will you fit all that in between building your website and participating in local events? The answer is you won't. And so you need to make a plan for your year. Just create a really simple spreadsheet and outline what you're going to do, what you're going to make, what sizes, and when. And then just make it happen. Okay, so you've got your plan. Step number six is reach out. Reach out, reach out, reach out. If you take anything away from this video, it's that you can't just sit around waiting for someone to discover your art, make you rich and famous, and you get to live the rest of your life holed up in your studio painting, never having to deal with the business side of things. Oh man, that is the dream I wish. <laughs> that is just not the way that it works. You have to be proactive in pursuing opportunities for yourself and for your art. You owe that to your art. But the good news is there are a lot of artists who do sit back just hoping to be discovered. So by being proactive and reaching out, you're miles ahead of all those other artists already. Part of reaching out is also starting an email list. I cannot tell you what an incredible asset your email list will be. Uh, just start one today. Start gathering the emails of everyone who's interested in your art, either online or at events. Um, then you can reach out to them proactively when you have either new work to show or new events that you want to promote. Okay, step seven is diversify. Key to building consistent income from your art is diversification. That just means you need to pursue multiple places to sell your art and multiple formats to sell your art in. For example, I sell my original art on my website, in local shops, through interior designers, and at several galleries across the country. I also license print reproductions and sell prints on my own website. Uh, not only does my art reach more people this way, but it hits different price points and I have other people working to sell my art for me at all times so I can spend more time in the studio painting. Step eight, evaluate. Part of building a sustainable art business is regularly taking a look both externally at your business metrics and internally at yourself. How is your business doing? How are you doing, both as an artist and as a human in the world? Are you enjoying your business? Are you enjoying making art? Are you taking time to rest and see people and travel and exercise and eat good food? And if not, something needs to change. You need to go back to your plan and revise. Um, I do a big evaluation of my business annually as well as four quarterly reviews. This is so important to be sure your business is growing in a way that is both sustainable and enjoyable for the long term. Okay, that is basically it. The eight steps again are make good work, Instagram, go local, go pro online, make a plan, reach out, diversify, and evaluate. Oh, and I did promise to tell you the number one thing that I truly believe has contributed to the success of my business is surrounding myself with people who were where I wanted to be. You know, the path to becoming a full-time artist is not straightforward and it can be really overwhelming at times, but having someone who has been where you are and can help you along the way is huge. Okay, so now you know the exact steps I'd take if I had to start my business over again today 
And you know how helpful having a mentor was in my own success. That is part of the reason that I developed my group coaching program for fine artists, Palette to Profit. If you are at all interested in learning more about it, you should use the link in the description below to book a call with me. We can talk about your art and your goals and see if you're a good fit for the program. Um, and if not, I still wish you the best of luck. The more thriving artists and the more beautiful art there is in the world, the better. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, if you want more information on a certain aspect of it, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today and please be sure to like this video and subscribe for more fine art business tips. Okay, have a wonderful day.